In the following examples, we are asked to find the indicated composition. So let's talk about what composition means. In this case, we're using the definition of composition to mean like made up of. So what is something made up of? What is it composed of? You know, think about a cake. Well, what is a cake composed of? Well, probably some flour, some sugar, some butter, some eggs, you know, maybe some baking powder. So what is this made up of? In this case, we're looking at F composed of G of X. So some students might mistakenly think that this right here means multiply F times G, but that's actually not correct. This looks like it says also fog, and some students will say, well, what does this fog mean? But this means F composed of G of X. In other words, F made up of G of X. So let me rewrite that in a different way so that it makes a little bit more sense. What that means, F composed of, so made up of, G of X, just like this. So think about it. What does a function take? It takes in an input and it gives an output. So in this case, what is the input for F? All right, the input for F is going to be namely G. So here is G and we're going to plug it in wherever we have an X in the function F. So that's exactly what we're going to do. So let's see here to figure this out. It is going to be three times and instead of X, we're going to plug in G of X. But what was G of X? 2X minus 1 and then plus 14. Well, we simplify this a little more by distribution. 3 times 2x is 6x, and then 3 times minus 1 is minus 3, and then plus 14. So we have 6x minus 3 plus 14. When we combine like terms, we get 6x plus 11. So there it is, 6x plus 11. So this is the answer. This is what F composed of G of X is, 6X plus 11. Now let's take a look at this one. This one's a little bit harder, and the only thing that makes it harder is the fact that you're dealing here with fractions. So it's really not that bad, okay? It's really not that bad, though. So let's take the same principle, F composed of G of X. If I read this exactly like that, then I know what I have to do. I have to take this fraction, g, this rational expression, and I have to plug it in here for x. So there we have it, f composed of g of x. So let's see what that looks like. That looks like this, 4 over, and then it's 1 over 8x plus 7. Now normally in any kind of circumstance that would be okay, but this one uh, this one is actually, we need to simplify it a, just a little more. The thing is that we have basically a fraction within a fraction, and it actually doesn't look very nice. So what we're going to do is we're just going to multiply by this denominator, 8x, on the top in the numerator and in the bottom in the denominator, so that we can clear the fraction here. So what we're going to do is multiply the top, the numerator, and the bottom, the denominator, by 8x. So just multiply straight across here and you get 32x. And then in the bottom, when you distribute this, so let me just show you some distribution. There you go. 8x times 1 over 8x. Well, look at what happens. Okay, it eliminates itself. It eliminates itself. It crosses out. So 8x times 1 over 8x is simply 1. And 8x times 7 is 56x. So this right here is the simplification. We've cleaned it up a bit. We've cleaned up this right here, and this is what, it, what we get. So this is f composed of g of x. Now, just an, as an added note, as we look at both of these, we looked only at the case of f composed of g. But it is very possible to have g composed of f. So it is very possible to have asked for the other scenario, g composed of f of x. And all that would be is g made up 
of f of x. So I'm not going to work this one out. What happens is you would take, in this case, the 3x plus 14 and plug it right here where you have the x. So it can go the other way as well. So it just depends, you know, what you call a function, you know, whether it's f, g, h, you know, there's a multitude of things we can call the function of x. But uh, you can do compositions in different directions, so just kind of keep that in mind.